Welcome to the EA Sports penalty kick taking basics tutorial. Let's go over everything you need to know to be a prolific scorer from the penalty spot. The two most important decisions you'll need to make as you prepare for a penalty kick are where you want to place your shot and how much power you want to get behind it. First, let's take a look at the power. To power up a shot and start the run-up, press and hold B. The faster your shot is, the more difficult it will be for the goalkeeper to read the trajectory and react to the shot. Fast shots also have the advantage of making it harder for the goalkeeper to keep the ball out of the net, even if they manage to get a hand to it. The more power you put behind a shot, the more error it will have. So be careful when deciding to blast one, as overpowering can result in missing the goal altogether. You can choose to press and hold RB when powering up to take a finesse shot with the inside of your foot. Finesse shots are not as powerful as laces, but will have less error. But just learning how to control the power of your shot will not be enough to beat the best goalkeepers in the world. In order to be a prolific scorer from the penalty spot, you'll need to learn to place your shot away from the keeper's reach. Let's look at how to place your shot using the new completely analog aiming system. By default, you start aiming at the middle of the goal. From the moment you press B to start powering up for a shot, you can hold a left stick to move the aim anywhere inside the goal. The longer you hold the left stick in any particular direction, the farther your shot will go in that direction. Be careful with how long you hold the left stick, as letting go too soon will result in a shot closer to the middle of the goal, and holding it for too long will cause you to miss the goal. Make sure you practice some penalties by going into practice mode before going into a match. You'll be able to toggle the aiming system on and off by pulling LT, revealing how fast the aim moves, so you get familiar with the new analog system. Even the most masterful strikers of the ball have succumbed to the pressure and tension of taking a penalty kick. So, no matter how much you practice your penalty kicks, it will count for nothing if you're not able to compose yourself before starting your run towards the ball. Right beneath the power bar, you will see the new composure meter for penalty kicks. The green and yellow regions are your composed regions, while the red part of the bar represents the not composed region. To take the kick accurately, you must stop the oscillating needles inside the composed region. If you miss, the farther you are from the middle of the bar, the more error your shot will have. The needles will stop the moment you press B to start powering up for a shot. The size of the regions is tied to the player's penalties attribute. Successful players from the penalty spot will have bigger composed regions, giving you a greater sweet spot and therefore more room for error. The speed of the needle will depend on a variety of factors, including game difficulty, how critical the penalty is, and how far in the tournament you are.